Hello, Aaron. Thank you very much for coming in uh, Vasto, Italy. That's my pleasure. And I uh, have a couple of questions for you. Sure. Um, the first question is, how and when did you discover your passion for the drums and uh, for music? Uh, well, according to my, my parents, they said that I was very young, like maybe, maybe two. Um, I kind of was starting to kind of bang on stuff and kind of play on things. And, um, so my parents told me that I was, I was quite young when I um, kind of first started kind of putting stuff together and kind of playing uh, different rhythms and banging on stuff. Um, I was probably like around two. The first time that I remember playing um, and like my parents have like a photo of it, uh, I was probably like maybe five, maybe six. Um, and that's like the first time that I actually kind of really was, I guess, into you know, to drums and music. The second um, question is, uh, who are the musicians and drummers who have influenced your music and your playing? Uh, there's, a, there's so many. Um, when I was um, younger, you know, my parents wouldn't allow me to listen to a whole lot of, a whole lot of music. For the most part, it would be, uh, you know, like gospel, religious music. So the influences that I had then were um, like Gerald Hayward, um, Jeff Davis, Dana Davis, um, uh, Michael Williams, Joe Smith, um, Butch Hayward, um, Marvin McQuitty. It, it was guys like that that played on the recordings um, that I was allowed to listen to. Kevin Brunson's another one. Uh, but those were like the records that my parents would allow me to listen to. So those initially were like my early influences as far as um, drummers. Um, as I got older, then I got into like uh, Dave Weckl and um, Benny Caliuta, Dennis Chambers, Steve Gadd, Omar Akeem, Buddy Rich. Um, and it was the guys like that that um, kind of took things to another level for me as far as drumming. Uh, a spiritual question. Uh, why did you start playing in church? Uh, well, for me, initially, um, I started playing in church because that was that was my outlet. Like, that was where I was able to, to really play, you know. So it wasn't... Um, initially, it wasn't such a, a spiritual thing. I think it was just more of, you know, I wanted to play, and I, this is the place where I was able to actually play. It wasn't until I got older where it became a spiritual thing. Where I just wanted to be able to um, kind of give, use the gift that I feel like God has given me to kind of help out my, you know, my church and you know the service, and just kind of give it back to Him as just to say thank you for everything He's done. Excellent. Although uh, you're still very young, you're a musician which has impressively collaborated with names like Usher, James Brown, Alicia Keys, and filmed a, also a teaching DVD. How did you manage to turn your passion into a job, into a work? Uh, for me, man, honestly, I, I feel like it's just one of those things that, um, you know, God just kind of opened the door for me to do it, just because it's, it's so many amazingly talented musicians, you know, so many great drummers, and um, I just feel like, um, for me, the door just kind of, you know, just opened for me to be able to do it. Uh, it started with Usher, um, just the way that it just kind of worked out for me to be able to play with him. It just, I feel like it's, you know, it wouldn't have happened uh, any other way. I just feel like this, you know, for me, I just feel like this, you know, God just kind of worked it out for me to do it. You know, that all of those things, you know, I feel like they, they happened because of him, but not necessarily because I'm so great, or I'm just such a fantastic drummer. It's just, you know, one of those things I feel like he did. Very good. Uh, what do you think about uh, TV talent shows? Um, they're entertaining to me. Um, I think they're, they're a great place for people to showcase what it is that they do. Um, there's so many um, talented people that don't necessarily have the um, the know-how to, you know, get in touch with a label and. You know, they don't have maybe the money to kind of, you know, put together their own projects and things like that. So I think that the the television talent shows, I think they're a great medium for people to be able to get their their talent and their gift out there. Um, I, I feel like it's it's a lot going on now where there's such an oversaturation of them. But uh, ultimately, I, I think that they're a pretty cool thing. Very good. What advice would you give to young drummers and musicians to earn a living with the uh, music industry? Um, I think that initially, you know, make sure your focus is right. I, I think that, you know, so many times people tend to focus on wanting to be, 
you know, famous or they want to be rich or they want to, uh, you know, travel to the world or any other. I think that those are great, you know, aspirations. But I think the focus for you doing this, you know, doing music, I think you should do it because you love it more than anything else. Um, I feel like if you, you do that and you stay focused and um, be professional and, you know, just kind of line these, these things up that are, are needed to survive and succeed in the music industry, all the other stuff will happen, but it's, I feel like the motives have to be right, first of all. What do you think of the relationship between music teachers and the students and about the uh, studying methods? Um, I think that is, I think the relationship is cool as long as the, um, the teachers are, you know, pushing and nurturing. Like it's a, I think it's a fine line between the two. Sometimes you can um, push students to the point where they can be discouraged, you know what I mean? And I feel like it's important to, to push them and to help them to grow, but at the same time, you know, you have to give them some encouragement. You have to kind of give them, you know, a spoonful, a little bit of sugar along with the medicine, you know what I mean? As long as that's happening, I think it's, it's fantastic. Beautiful. Last question. It's uh, your first tour in Italy. What do you think of our drumming community and, of, naturally, of our country, Italy? Uh, the drummer community has been absolutely incredible. I mean, it's, it's been really, really cool. Um, every night that we've um, you know, done a clinic or whatever, people have just shown up and they've been so extremely supportive and just, um, it's been so cool, man, to see that. You know, I mean, it's, the support has just been, it's just been humbling, you know. Um, the country is absolutely beautiful. I've really enjoyed this more so than anything else. Like, I, I've, I've been here before. Um, I've been to Rome, um, you know, doing some gigs, and I've played also in um, Padova before. But, like, this is so different because it's like I actually get to, you know, go from city to city, like a lot of the major cities we've been hitting. And um, it's been so great just to see the countryside and, like, the all the green, you know, the beautiful trees and, like, the... The, the lawn, the, you know, the grass, and uh, man, it's just been, it's been fantastic, absolutely beautiful.